Right guys, one of the last things we're going to do is have a stretch. Stretch off all the muscles that we've been using during the class. For the upper body stretches, we'll do them in the chair. So we'll look for the same posture that you did some of the exercises in the class in. Sit in the front two thirds of the chair, feet nice and flat on the ground. Good posture, engage your stomach muscles to keep you steady. First one we're going to do is a shoulder stretch. So we're just going to give yourself a wee hug, bring one arm round. And with the other hand, we're just going to gently pull it in towards the body. And we're going to hold these stretches for about 15 to 20 seconds. So as I said, there, that's a shoulder stretch. You should be feeling this one in your shoulder. Gently pulling it across the body till you feel the muscle being stretched. And hold that stretch. Shake off, hand stretch the other side, so come round, give yourself a wee hug, pull the arm gently towards, into the body. Again, hold roughly about 15-20 seconds, just feel the stretch, so your stretches should never be painful. They can be a wee bit uncomfortable, stretching isn't the most pleasant thing at times, but any sharp pain, stop the stretch immediately. Guys, we shake off. Next one, for the tricep back your arm, we're going to reach down the back. And with your other hand again, just a gentle bit of pressure to push your hand, the arm back as much as possible. You should feel the stretch in your tricep, the back of your arm. Again, holding it roughly about 15 to 20. As I said, these stretches aren't only limited to the after you've been exercising. They can be done at any time throughout the day. And shake it off. Good to keep your muscles flexible. Can reduce pain. Reduce your risk of injury. So again, gentle push down the back till you feel that stretch in the back of your arm. And hold. We shake off. Last upper body we're going to do in the chair is for the chest muscles. So grabbing on the back of the chair, we're going to push the chest forward. So holding that back chair nice and tight, push the chest forward until we feel a stretch. You should feel this, your chest muscles, and also slightly the front of your shoulders. Always nice steady breathing while we stretch, never hold your breath. Again, similar length of time. Good, and shaking it off. Next, we'll give the legs a stretch. First one we'll stay in the chair for hamstring, so the back top of your leg. We're going to keep your standing foot flat on the ground, 90 degree angle. The leg you're stretching comes forward. This leg remains straight. Hands on your bent leg, and we're going to lift the toes up, and as we do that, we're going to gently lean forward. So make sure there's enough of your bottom in the chair, you're not at risk of slipping off here when you lean forward. And if you work through the stretch a wee bit further, just come forward a wee touch more, keeping that leg straight. Again, nice steady breathing. Feel the stretch and hold it. Good, back in, head with the feet, other side, leg to be stretched comes out, hands in the bent leg, keep this leg straight, lift the toes back towards the body and gently tilt to the hips. Do you feel that stretch, your hamstring, back, top of the leg, just sit into that stretch. And back up. Pedal the feet. Next one we're going to come up on our feet. Again, let me surprise. We pedal the feet. Next one we're going to do quads at the front. So if you've got enough mobility in your knees, we can do this when standing up. Always have a chair to hold on to. Either side. And we're just going to bring this leg up. Keep the knees together. Gently pulling your heel towards your bottom. Do a stretch in here, the front top leg, quadriceps. And 
and that's good. Slight pedal, other side. Again, always holding on. Keep the knees together. Pulling that leg back till you feel a stretch at the top of your leg. And hold the stretch. If you don't have that mobility that you're able to get that leg up that far, there's another way you can stretch the quad. Again, make sure you've got something to hold on to. This time, front leg bent, back leg slightly bent, back heel lifts up off the ground, and you're going to tilt the hips forward. So maintain a nice upright posture, not leaning forward. And as we push the hips forward, you should feel a stretch in the quad. Again, always holding on if you need to while you're doing this. Next one comes back, front leg bent, back leg slightly bent. You can see better there, my heel lifts up off the ground, tilt the hips forward and hold that position. Guys, shave, turn it off. Final muscle we need to stretch the legs is the calves. So again, you can do this one standing up or seated. First way we'll do it. Seated, so front leg's bent. This time your back leg remains straight. You keep the feet pointing the same direction and push the heel down into the ground, holding on to the wall or a sofa or something else that's not going to move while you're doing it. Again, as I mentioned, it's important that your feet point in the same direction here, so your back leg is pointing directly forward. As you pedal the feet other side. Calf muscles tend to be quite tight. So as I said, you don't need to limit these exercises just to after your class. It can be done at any time during the day. Last few option, stretching your calf in the chair. Similar to your hamstring stretch, except this time we're not leaning forward, we're just pulling the back toe towards you. So keep this leg, your stretching leg straight, pull the back toe up towards you. The more you pull it in, the more of a stretch you'll feel in your calf. And we're just going to hold them for 15 to 20 seconds. Okay, the other side. Stretching legs straight, pull the toes towards the body, and we're going to hold that. And pedal the feet, and that's your stretches, guys.